Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Remembering Steelers QB Dwayne Haskins Two years ago, Tuesday, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the rest of the football world was struck with tragic news after quarterback Dwayne Haskins was killed in a vehicle incident in Florida. The 24-year-old was struck by a vehicle while crossing a Florida interstate during a week of training with some of his Steelers teammates. Two years later, his memory still reminds many football fans of the thrilling athlete he was and the impact he had on the game. The Players' Tribune reminded us of a heartwarming note he wrote to his mother, thanking her for being a supportive figure during his football journey. Thank you for letting me make my own decisions. Like when I had committed to play at Maryland out of high school, and then the coaching staff got fired, so I didn't know what to do. We went and met with the new coaches, and even though they were great, I wasn't sure if it was the right fit for me anymore. I was stressing. I had a big decision to make. I was also looking at Florida State, Notre Dame, Penn State and, of course, Ohio State. It was a really tough choice. I asked you what I should do. And instead of telling me what to do, you asked about what I wanted. We talked about the pros and cons of each school. We talked about Ohio State and how when I was younger and I went to their football camps, I had always said that one day I wanted to be a Buckeye. You told me that if that's what I wanted, then that's what I should do. You told me to believe in myself, to bet on myself, and to follow my heart and go to my dream school. And it was the best decision I have ever made, Haskins wrote. Haskins played for the Steelers in 2021 and was set to compete for the starting job against Mitch Trubisky in 2022 after Ben Roethlisberger retired. His impact as a teammate was felt by all of those in the locker room as the team remembered their friend throughout the season. Deshaun Watson gives interesting take on Steelers' defense. Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson is 0-3 against the Pittsburgh Steelers, but during a recent episode of his podcast, he explained just how easy it is to manipulate the team into what the Browns want. Watson broke down a play against Pittsburgh, explaining how he is able to get a defense like the Steelers to go into their base package. From there, the Browns can essentially do as they please, according to Watson. The biggest thing is get the defense in what we want to get the defense in, and that's a base defense, especially a team like Pittsburgh, Watson said. When they're in a base defense, they don't play too many coverages. They're kind of very schemed, as to how they play. So once we had this situation, all right cool, we got them exactly how we want it, and then you just run the play and react. While the result of the drive Watson was breaking down ended in a turnover after a fumble, the play did turn into a nice gain for the Browns. Watson has thrown for five touchdowns and four interceptions when facing the Steelers. Two of those loses came during his time in Cleveland, while the third was when he played for the Houston Texans. While Pittsburgh's defense has had their struggles in recent years, they've held strong against Watson. Their loss last season actually came to rookie Dorian Thompson-Robinson in a game where Kenny Pickett and the offense really struggled. Former first-round receiver suggested as potential trade target for Steelers. With the options that currently have on their roster, wide receiver looks like a pretty big need for the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. Right now, they have one star and a bunch of options that weren't all that impressive in 2023. That makes them a prime candidate to be looking for a receiver early in this year's draft. However, they could still look to pursue a receiver with some NFL experience before the draft. One they could have interest in is Tennessee Titans' W.R. Traylon Burks. In a list of receivers who could still potentially be trade targets for the Steelers, behind the steel curtains Brandon Andrews named Burks as an option for Pittsburgh. Burks was an interesting prospect coming into the NFL. He had put up strong numbers during his time at Arkansas. He had 51 catches for 820 yards and seven touchdowns in just eight games as a sophomore. He followed that up with a huge junior season. 
Burks made 66 catches for 1,104 yards and 11 touchdowns in 2021. Unfortunately, his athletic testing wasn't quite as impressive. He took 4.55 seconds to run the 40-yard dash at the NFL Combine. The Titans overlooked that issue and decided to take him with the 18th pick in 2022 after trading A.J. Brown to get that pick. That decision hasn't worked out for them as Burks has struggled in his first two NFL seasons. In 2022, he made just 33 catches for 444 yards and only scored one touchdown. Things got worse during his second year in the league. He was limited to 10 games and only made 16 catches for 221 yards without a single touchdown. Now the team has seemed to move on from Burks. Last offseason, they signed DeAndre Hopkins to be their WR1. This offseason, they added another star receiver. They signed Calvin Ridley to a four-year contract worth $92 million. With so much other talent at the position in Tennessee, it's hard to see how Burks is going to pay off his draft capital with the Titans. That could lead them to entertain offers for the third-year receiver. If they do, the Steelers could be an interesting destination for him. Outside of George Pickens, things are not great for the Steelers at the wide receiver right now. The other players on their roster at the position are Van Jefferson, Quez Watkins, Calvin Austin, and Corderell Patterson. Jefferson was the only one that reached 200 yards last season. None of them have reached 400 yards in either of the last two years. That seemingly has them set up to take a receiver in the first few rounds of this year's draft. Even if that is the plan, Burks could still be a good fit for them. The team still needs to figure out who their slot receiver will be in 2024. Burks could take on that role for them. It is somewhere he was very successful in college. PFF graded him as college football's best slot receiver during his final season at Arkansas. That's where most of his production came from in college, but he hasn't played in the slot nearly as much as a pro. If the Steelers brought him in, it could give him a chance to play from the slot again. If he was successful, there it would take some pressure off of a rookie to produce immediately as the WR2. He also wouldn't cost the team a ton as his cap hit is just under $4 million for 2024 and a bit over $4.5 million in 2025, the Titans haven't indicated they're shopping Burks ahead of his third season, but if they do, he could give the Steelers' QBs another weapon to work with as the team tries to get its offense back on track. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Traylon Burks? Leave your opinion in the comments.